Hello everyone and welcome to WP Ask Me. In this video I'm going to cover an alternative responsive slider. The slider I'm going to cover in this video can be found on Code Canyon and it's called Layer Slider Responsive WordPress Slider Plugin. Once you activate the plugin you're going to have a Layer Slider WP menu area and we'll click all sliders and I already have one slider here but I'm going to create a new one for this video so I'll give the slider a name the width since we're still using the Gumby Framework, I'm going to make it 940. And I'll give it a height of 350 pixels. And a yes, we're going to keep this as responsive. For now, I'll simply use the default skin. And we'll keep the background color white. And save changes so once again I'm not going into too much detail on this video um, there's some main things that I want to cover and I don't want to spend too much time on detail because this is a paid plugin so if you have any questions post them in the forums on WP ask me and so let's begin with creating a basic slider so I'll give it a background image And you'll notice that the image that I've uploaded um, is exactly the same dimensions as the slider that I've created. Um, that's important if you want to maintain the best image quality. And so I'm going to set a thumbnail for this slide. So that's going to be used We'll add a link set the target and here we are so one of the things I really like about this plugin is the layers feature and so I'm going to add a new layer Make it a level three heading. And so you can see that my layer is here. And I'll just place that here and let's add a transition in so I'll make it slide in from the right and the transition out and slide to the bottom and preview and so the next thing I'll add a another layer for the join button. So this time we're going to use an image. I'll scoot this down here. Let's make this slide in from the left. And let it slide out to the top. Now let's take a look. So here we have one slide. I'll go ahead and save the changes on this one. So one other thing, as you can see, 
I have already linked the entire slide. However, I can also link individual layers that are inside of the slide. So for example, on this join now, if I click the link, we can apply a URL and set the link behavior. You can also apply styling controls as well as attributes to the link. So I'll add another slide. And for this slide, I'm going to add a solid background. So it's going to be a, a solid white background. And for the thumbnail, I'll select this image. And now I have a solid white background. And I'll begin adding layer elements. You can drag this around and there we are. I'll add a new layer. Let's move this over here. And here instead of linking the entire slide, I'm only going to link this layer. Save changes. And finally, I'm going to add a slide with a video on it. So I'm also going to add the solid white background. And then I'm going to select the div slash video. And then I'll take a video. So I'll just use one from my YouTube. If you wanted to add layers on top of that, on top of the video, <clears throat> that's possible also. Let's take a look. And so here we are. It also has a skin editor, a transition builder.
and you can create custom styles in the global settings you can change the appearance Feel free to post in the forums. Thank you and bye for now.